Hello everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Titan Quest Immortal Throne, and we are now officially in the expansion bit, fighting crabs. Fantastic! Always wanted to fight some crabs, and now we finally have the opportunity to fight some crabs, thanks to the expansion of Titan Quest Immortal Throne. And there's some people here, but they're not very entertaining. So, I shall just continue on fighting crabs. Oh my goodness, yes. I believe there's actually a side quest for killing a crab as well, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. But, we'll see. For now, gonna kill some crabs. Apparently they squeak when you kill them, so, um, kinda makes you feel bad when you kill a crab. But, you know, they, they were trying to kill me, sort of. At least they were walking in my general direction, and there's a fish here, so, yeah. That fish is a pretty good reason to kill crabs, because otherwise that fish might be in danger. And these crabs will probably respawn the moment we stop playing. So all in all, it was their own fault, really. Yeah, that's the logical conclusion to draw from all of that. I also have to say, I like beaches. I like beaches a lot, and this is definitely a good start to an expansion if you're into beaches. Yes, because they are quite pretty, and the cave of Orthea is in that direction. But we'll go there in a minute. First... Let's see what else we can find over here. Larger crabs. A wave crusher, although these are the crabs we fought when we actually left town, so... I guess they would be just the exact same size as the other crabs and... <laughs> Though it seems that there are more tiny crabs than big crabs. And yes, this entire video is going to be me talking about crabs, and there is a person over there. Hey, and about... You there. We could use your help. And the NPCs actually talk to you when you can get nearby them in this expansion, apparently. We must light the beacon to tell merchant ships that the harbor is safe once again. Every time we start to light it, we are swarmed with undead. If you can lend a hand, say so. We could use your help. I'm not going to say anything. Wonderful. Take this strapping young lad. <laughs> he will carry the torch and light the beacon if you can keep him safe. No one should call anyone a strapping young lad ever. Also, this guy actually has a health bar. Wow. I am genuinely surprised at this, to be honest. Seeing as um, all the other NPCs in the game so far haven't had one. But I guess it is something they added in the expansion, and um, also the reason why I keep remembering everything wrong. Because the area that I was constantly thinking of that would be Act 4 is in fact Act 5. The NPC even has a little thingy on the map, little exclamation mark to know that he is still following you around, and that you should probably be a little careful not to die, and especially not to let him die, so, yeah. Although I can't see where they were coming with, coming from when they said there were kind of a lot of undead things and stuff. And I think this is where you're supposed to light the thing, so I'm just gonna quickly check it out. Make absolutely sure that I am correct in assuming that this is the area where one would light a beacon. This looks like a beacon, so yes. Also, if I remember correctly, if he dies, I think you may actually have to restart the uh, or actually just start a new um, server uh, or new, basically just start a new game real no, not from the start, but that you just kind of start over, basically, uh, from where you load. Just load a game, basically, let's just put it like that. Because otherwise that guy will still be dead. And that's kind of annoying, and does make it kind of tricky to light the beacon, because for some reason he's the only one that knows how this thing works. Which is kind of silly. Now this is an actual gauntlet, though, I have to admit. This, um, is a better gauntlet than you get thrown at you most of the time. But he's not lighting that up very quickly. Is there someone else here? No. Oh, no, no, wait, that is actually um, lit up pretty well. I would assume that it says, uh... Hmm. The beacon has finally been lit. Talk to I uh, blah blah blah. Okay. I guess we're gonna go back to uh, whatever his name was. And explore a little bit of the unexplored area while we're at it. And these stairs are hard to climb for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I was having difficulty with it. Very odd. But yeah, little interesting uh, thing there. 
do be careful that he doesn't die, the torchy bear or any other NBCs that you have to protect. Because otherwise you're in a bit of a pickle. And you'd have to kill all these crabs again to make sure they wouldn't be in the way. I think that gauntlet actually gets pretty tricky in later difficulties as well. But uh, we're not there yet, so we'll see. First, let's just talk to the quest giver. Get our reward for helping that one guy light some fire. Yeesh. The beacon shines for all to see. Now we will once again be a center of industry and commerce. I see a new golden age for the entire island. All because of one hero and a young man with a torch. Because clearly we could... Ooh, Arcane Formula, that's actually kind of nice. It's, uh... We'll actually have some of the stuff in there. I'm not surely, really sure what a Saber Claw is, though. Which is a shame. It's actually not bad, either. But, uh, eh, whatever. Let's uh, continue on our way. And uh, just explore a little bit more stuff. But yeah. It's kind of silly that you would only have one torch bear. I mean, you could have just gone in there with all of them. I mean, it would be a little risky, I suppose. But I'm pretty sure all of those people would be able to get rid of those undead beings. If I can get rid of them on my own. I mean, the Torchbearer alone was level 30, so I would assume he would be pretty decent at doing so. Oh, uh, what actually, what do we have left? 186, that's health regeneration, monster lure, I don't like monster lures. This is... Kind of useful later, I just never... Hmm. Is that a radius? So I would assume that this is... I, I don't even know. Maybe this is just an aura, actually. I'll put one point in that and see what happens. I could always change it up later. Uh, let's see. Do I have to put it in there? Art of the Hunt? Guess so. And yes, it is a little thing that has a duration. But, you know, it affects both me and my little, little thingy. Oh, and it's actually... Uh, okay, yeah, this is definitely an aura because you can see the maximum amount of... Um, energy has been reduced now so as long I think this is one of those things where as long as you have energy it should be okay but if you run if you get to zero energy I think you have to use it again or something like that but I'm not entirely sure about that anyway we are getting way we are going to a different direction than I want to go because first I want to explore a little bit more there's a large beach and I want to see everything and I'm pretty sure I haven't done all the side quests yet this door is interesting actually because you need a certain item to open this, this door, door. Is locked. because this door is locked unless I'm thinking of a different door but I'm pretty sure that's the door where you need a item that you actually get from the last boss in the game so after we fight the final boss we are actually gonna just gonna continue to this little area over here to see what's up but that's not uh, for a little while yet. We are in the last act, but it will still take a while because... Well, it would be kind of silly if you bought an expansion pack and all you get was like five minutes of extra content. Now, wouldn't it? The expansion is going to be a little bit large. Because that's kind of the point. But, you know. We'll get through it. We'll get through the entire thing. And then we'll go back here and go see what's going on. And there's actually some interesting stuff behind that door as well. So I really do want to show off what is behind there. Especially um, two particular... Two things in... But no. I think three actually. Maybe even four. There's a bunch of stuff behind that door. And uh, I want to show off all of it. But uh, we'll get there. First of all, we're just going to go with Art of the Hunt. I really should have gotten that aura a lot earlier, really. That would not have been a very bad idea, but, you know. The things you find out afterwards. I mean, it's not like we're really using the energy at the moment, because even with the reduced energy, we're still pretty much on full energy at all times, so... Ooh, the Matria. Ooh, and quest people. Interesting. Let's uh, see what uh, this person has to say, this fisherman. See for yourself. Karkinosi swarmed the beach. I'm not going back out there until I know it is safe. I do not care how much Proteus curses us. Talk to him if you want. I am not in charge. Uh, let's uh, talk to Proteus. Crabs the size of boats have come up on the beach. 
One of them took off Dimitri's foot at the anchor, and now these layabouts sit here instead of hauling nets. We'd manage somehow, if it weren't for that huge one. Do you see it? I, I swear it is down there. And that would be the quest I was talking about. <laughs> Let's uh, quickly go here, though, because, um... Get away. There you go. That's not where you are. Nah, whatever. It looks like he definitely still has his foot, so I'm guessing that's not Dimitri. That is just a different person that happens to lie down there and someone is tending to him, but there when you go. When the mother of all crabs surfaced, I ran up the beach. Her spawn crawled off her back and tried to eat Dimitri. We pulled him away in time, and all they got was his foot. Hmm. Kind of weird wording there, but there you go. Let's go see if we can kill any monstrous crabs. Yes. And no, I am not saying the giant enemy crab thing. Oh, wait, there it is. But, oh well. Let's see. Large crab. Really large crab. Oh, ow. Ooh, ow. Okay, crab hurt. Ow. Oh, he killed him in one hit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be a little careful with uh, Karkinos. Okay, I don't want to do that. That would be a little cheap. Okay, he's digging it. He's burrowing. Burrowing things. Always bad. Ow. Okay, yeah, this um, considerable amount of damage. You can see where he's going. That is kind of silly when you think about it. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of silly that he has a large aura that shows his position at all times. When you th yeah, there you go. Uh, please stop hitting me. This is... Kind of painful and makes me look silly. I don't want to be want to kill the final boss without dying and then end up being killed by a giant crab. That would be kind of silly. In fact, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was his name? Typhos, Typhos, Typhon. I don't know. He's got nothing on this crab. Definitely. Yeah. That crab was really powerful. I um really didn't don't remember the expansion being uh, this much harder than the original game. But I'm not complaining, because I have may have mentioned this once before, but the normal game was a little bit easy now, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm pretty happy that they uh, upped the difficulty a little bit with this expansion, because yeah. Not that I was falling asleep, but I was not really... Well, the Dragonians were kind of scary, I suppose, but only because they had weird attacks. And there weren't that many of them, really. Head fisherman. The entire village will feast on crab legs in your honor. We don't have much, but take this with our thanks. You also get a really large amount of experience. I mean, there's 30,000 experience. That's pretty much twice as much as you usually would get from uh, the quest. Maybe we got about 20,000 for the other ones. But uh, yeah, definitely worth doing some of the side quests in here. With numbers like that, definitely worthwhile. Silly freeze and then play really fast bugs are silly but there you go let's go some frogs frogs and crabs yeah finally no more cheetah men no more no more indeed let's go let's uh explore all of the black unexplored areas and then go into that pretty pretty forest that we saw a moment ago but i didn't go in it because we wanted to fight a crab a giant crab where we hit certain points of its body for a considerable amount of pain. Yes. That is exactly what we did. And as such, we will just continue on our way. Now that we have done the heroic deed of killing a large animal. Yes. We are such monsters. But oh well, that's kind of the point of the game, isn't it? You be a monster to save the world. Yes. In fact, these crabs are playing along with the devil, or something like that. I didn't even really remember who you fight as the final boss, but, eh, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I do know that this does get pretty interesting around halfway through. And then uh, it won't be just a beach, basically. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. It, it has some really interesting uh, areas that we have to explore. These, um slightly larger crabs deal a fair amount of damage as well so yeah gonna have to be a little bit careful like thou like thou not like thou like that but does not really work that well no not really 
Oh, so where's the cave? I don't... Oh, no, wait, we did go into that cave. I'm being silly. Hmm. I am being silly. That is kind of silly of me. And I think we can now safely say that I killed all the crabs. Yes! So, um... I think I'm just gonna sell up since I'm a town anyway, and I'll see you at that rebirth fountain that was somewhere over here and that we activated already anyway. So, see you in a moment. <laughs>